According to a recent Glamour magazine survey, 40% of women are unhappy with their bodies. That's why we invited a panel of body image experts to join us this morning. Wendy Noggle is executive editor of Glamour magazine. Katherine Schwarzenegger, author of Rock What You've Got, is here as well. And plus-sized model Crystal Wren. Ladies, good morning to all of you. I want to talk first about that body image survey that Glamour did. 71% of women feel they're too fat versus 46% who are actually overweight. What does that stat tell you about our society? There's a lot of body snarking going on right now. It's happening on the tabloids, it's happening on MySpace pages, Facebook pages. It's really like there's a great weight watch happening in the country, and it's very hard for women not to internalize that message, and I think that's what that stat reflects. And when you look at these magazines, a lot of them show these skinny, unattainable bodies. No one knows that better than you, Crystal. When you started out in your career, you were one of those perfect bodies, a size zero, and were actually told that you were too heavy. You took a break from modeling and you came back as a plus-sized model, and now they're criticizing you for being too thin as a plus-sized model. What, what messages is all that sending to you and to society? Well, I think the most important thing in which I've discovered, you know, through this entire process, it's about finding you, your, mid, uh, your medium. You know, it's about being who you are. And I think that, you know, I will never be thin enough or big enough for anybody. So I think, you know, through this whole thing, I had to just really be happy being who I am. And that's when I found health. You know, I starved myself, you know, down to a double zero. And then in my recovery, got even up to a size 14. And I found that, you know, through the years, I settled at a 12. And then in the past year, I really discovered exercise because I was finally mm -hmm. able to do it. You know, after eight years, you know, I think that I was ready after, you know, suffering with exercise bulimia seven years ago to finally do it again. To in a exercise. healthy way. In a healthy way, right. right. And healthy is what you have been, Catherine, because you come from a healthy family. Your father, of course, <laughs> known for his body, the Terminator, a former Mr. Universe, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. Your mom, Maria Schreiber, a successful journalist who's also, you know, very big on exercise. So you grew up healthy and fit, and yet you talk about in your book how you still had these body issues. That tells me that it's not necessarily about what's on the outside, but what's on the inside that yeah, you're no, working on. Yeah, no, and even with that statistic um, from Glamour, I think that you just see how hard women are on themselves. I think. You know, we as women, we look in front of the mirror and we automatically jump to everything that we hate about ourselves, what we wish we could change. We're so overly critical of ourselves. And um, I think that, you know, that statistic really shows. And um, I, I think that, you know, women think that if you look beautiful on the outside, you're totally fine. You have the most perfect life. But I think the reality is we have to be beautiful on the inside and out. So um, that's what I talk a lot about in my book. And you also credit your mom with getting you through the awkward times. Yeah. What did your mom do for you that I can do for my daughter when she inevitably <laughs> Inevitably, unfortunately, has issues with her body to help her get through. I them. think just being there. I mean, my mom was so amazing with me growing up, and she still is today. She's my best friend. I talk to her six times a day, and um, I just have such an honest and open relationship with her. And she always was able to talk to me about everything and allow me to ask her questions where she didn't have any judgment to me. And um, you know, she was just the most amazing mother. And one thing I like that she did is one day when you were 10 years old, she made you list out what you like about yourself and what you don't like about yourself. And at first you say you couldn't find anything you liked about yourself, but at the end, you found plenty of things. Yeah, no, at the end of the, you know, the list, I, I started and I said I had nothing I like about my body, and so my mom kind of worked with me through it, and I realized how much I had in my likes column and my dislikes column, and I think that that just shows, again, how critical we are of ourselves as women. So um, I think it's an amazing exercise to do whenever you don't feel great about your body. So. I like that. Was great, yeah. Something else that I love that your dad did, in Glamour Magazine there was a picture that's now become famous of a plus size model named Lizzie Miller and it shows her sitting down and when any woman sits down she has a little roll in her belly as Lizzie does here. <laughs> Talk to me, Wendy, about what kind of reaction you've gotten to this photograph. The reaction has been astounding. We published this picture because we thought she looked great, she looked happy. We didn't think that much of it. And then the letters and emails and comments just started pouring in. And women were telling us they saw it, that they cried, that they felt like they finally had seen someone who looks just like them in a magazine. Yep. Thank you so much for putting that in the magazine and all of you guys for being here to talk today. I appreciate you, you here.